How's it going guys, Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tutorial. So if you saw my dreaded Monster School episode, I mean animation, why did I say episode? Oh god, am I teasing a series? I don't know. No one wants to see that, right? Anyway, if you saw my Monster School animation, then you may have noticed I had a little bit of glowing effects. One that wasn't so obvious was Glowstone that was hanging at the top of the little training area, and the other more obvious one, of course, was Herobrine's glowing eyes. So a few of you of course wanted to know how that was accomplished and I was figured I, I was figured I would go ahead and make a tutorial to explain that. Now I want to go ahead and preface it with a couple of notes. One is I did see this particular kind of method used in a tutorial by a user of the Minimator forums. I think his channel name is Keep on Chucking. I will have it on the screen if I, if it's if that's right or wrong whatever. Hopefully it'll be corrected and be right and whatnot. So I saw him mention something about it. Um, I didn't really think much of it at the time. And then sometime later on, I actually was going through Minecraft textures, working on something, I don't remember what. And I came across the sun texture and realized that, you know, it, it reminded me of his tutorial and like how they accomplished that. So I was like, well, let me try it myself. So this is what it is. All right. So you may want something to glow, right? You want your glowstone to glow. Let's just start out with glowstone. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go to glowstone, we're gonna put it in our scene, so here you go, you have glowstone, and nothing really happens. You, the, you can make it brighter if you go into your color options, and you can bring the brightness up, and what that does is cause it to not be uh, affected by lighting so much. If I bring this down, you see how it looks a little darker, I can bring the brightness up, and yeah. Minimator doesn't have any kind of real like lighting effects, no light rays or anything like that. So you kind of have to come up with little ways to work around it, either within Minimator or with uh, your video editor or a program like Adobe After Effects or something like that. So this is a good tip. You want to bring up the brightness because it's supposed to be a bright object and it shouldn't be shaded or have shadows crossing it. So that's one tip you can use. And the next thing is, okay, well, how do you get the brightness, the, the glow around it? Well, you have to use a texture trick. Uh, I'm not sure how to accomplish this in GIMP or uh, any uh, open source, like, free programs you guys might use. I've just done it myself with Photoshop because that's what I'm most familiar with. And instead of trying to show you guys how to make it, I'm going to just include a download for the little glowy texture that I have. And you can use it for your own animations or you can try to find a way to make it yourself with whatever program you like to use. So here we are in Photoshop and this is the texture that I have and it's obviously uh, a yellowish color. You probably could use any color you want to because you can change it within Minimator, but I just went with a yellowish color uh, because that was what happened. It was easy. Basically you have this, you can kind of probably not see it that well, so what I'm going to do is give it a black background and this is what you get. It's just this kind of blurry thing and it's a big square cut out of it because uh, that's I used a block from Minecraft as a template or something. I don't really remember what I did. But anyway, this is what you'll have. And it'll have a transparent background like this and you'll just import this into Minimator. All right, so now that we're back in Minimator, let's go ahead and give our scene uh, a little bit of a more dramatic look so we can kind of tell more what's going on here. Let's, I guess we'll just have it be pitch black like that. Jeez, so dark. There's no lights or nothing. All right, so obviously we have our glowstone and it's bright because we have our brightness turned up. We may want to give it some light. So let's go ahead and bring in a point light, spawn it in there and let's bring it up. And just so we don't get any of that stuff messing with us, we're going to go ahead and just bring it around like that so we don't get the glow from the glowstone. Actually, let's just go ahead and parent it because uh, we may want to use this you know, move the glowstone around and we don't want to have none of that business happening. So this is what you would do. And, th and this doesn't look too bad. You know, it's just, you know, a bright object with some light emitting from it. And it looks pretty decent. I wouldn't complain too much about that. But if we want to add the goodness around it, we're going to go ahead and bring in a surface object. And I'm going to go ahead to the texture here and I'm going to browse and select the glowy texture that I showed you in Photoshop. All right, so as you can see here, now we have the glowy object as our surface texture. 
And what I'm going to also do while here, you can also do this from the library, but while we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to click face camera and then I'm going to create it. And as you can see, it looks pretty unremarkable. So uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and change my custom rotation point. Let's see if zero gives us what we want. Looks like it do. And we're going to go ahead and zero out this and parent it to our dang old glowstone if I could stop bringing out my taskbar. All right, so I went ahead and gave it a name. I just called it glow and I'm going to move it up into position. Let's see here. Uh, where we want it? Probably about eight should be dead center of our glowstone block and I'm just gonna scale it up try to get it somewhere around the size of the block approximately we may not want it to be exact let's just give it 3.3 3, something like that it looks close enough for now all right so if we move this up and we may need to adjust the render depth let's go into our graphic settings of the glow texture and we're going to bring up the uh, render depth, just say one or two or something, just to make sure we don't get any craziness happening. Uh, obviously, you can tell that there is some kind of weird business going on here with the ground plane. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to ignore that for now. And we need to do a couple of more things to get this looking the way we want it to look. So let's go ahead and turn off cast shadows under our graphic settings. And that way we don't have that annoying grossness happening. And then we're also going to try blur texture. So it depends on what kind of texture you're working with. That can work. Sometimes it doesn't look that good. For this one, fortunately, I think we have enough space around our texture where it actually doesn't cause it to loop, which is something that seems to happen sometimes. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. So as you can see, it gives it a pretty smooth, glowy look to it. It kind of depends on what you want. You don't have to blur the texture if you want it to kind of remain more pixely like that, which is how the sun looks in Minecraft if you ever care to look at the texture. I think I personally prefer the blur look. So that's how you would do that and you can apply this to any number of things. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to show off how I did the Herobrine eyes glowing though. So one second. All right guys, so I've brought in my basic Steve skin on a human character here. And as you can see, the one difference we have is that I went in and removed the eye textures from his skin. So uh, looks pretty creepy. Just so we can actually kind of see what's going on here a little better, let's do that. So you may notice that you can see through his head. If you uh, have any problems with that, especially when you're using a skeleton, just turn off or turn on. Which one is it? It is show back faces. And then that way you can see uh, the backs of the skin through areas like that. If you have that off, then you'll just see right through it. Turn that on and then you'll be able to see through and see the backs of the faces. Basically, if, if one of these sides is a face, then that's the back of it. So, all right. So how do we get the eyes? So first of all, as you notice, I did remove the eyes here. You don't have to do that. But again, if you remember what I said about the brightness on our glowstone, we're going to apply that same effect to... Steve here. So what I'm going to do is spawn in a blank cube and I'm going to take it and I'm going to parent it to Steve's head like so and it looks pretty pretty terrible and then we're going to just take this and move it into position. I'm going to scale it just however I want. This isn't necessarily a hundred percent necessary uh, but this is just a way that I would typically do it to make it easier on myself. I'm also gonna rotate it so that way I can align this more easily. Since this is the side where our origin point is basically, then we're just gonna be able to line it up pretty exact with, uh, with Steve here. So four even is gonna put it right there on him like that and we don't want that. So we need it to be just a little bit behind. We want it to be like say 3.9 nine something like that hopefully we won't get too much fighting we may have to move it back a little further if that's the case let's just make it 3.98 and hope that we can solve that problem if it were ever to arise so let's go ahead and scale this and we'll put it there and then you have wide eyes which is you know you could have done that with the texture right but the problem is if i can do this without losing my mouse cursor when you do that and let's go ahead and turn off turn down the sun, 
the eyes are not very bright at all. They're just kind of dull and whatnot. But if I go into my cube, and since this is its own thing, it's not part of the texture for Steve, I can turn its brightness up and then it won't be affected by that dang old darkness or whatever. So uh, let's go ahead and deselect it. And as you can see, the eyes are bright still, even though the rest of his skin is being affected by the lighting. And uh, you can tell the same here if I turn up the brightness on Steve. It, it, you know, you don't get any shadows or anything and you want to keep that, but you want the eyes to stay bright. So that's how you do that. You've got to have two separate textures so that you can turn the brightness up on the eyes. That was really long-winded. I apologize if this tutorial seems to be taking forever, but I'm just trying to cover all the bases so you guys can make your own beautiful, bright Herobrine, <laughs> all right? All right, so now that we've got our uh, Herobrine pretty much set up, now we want to be able to make his eyes glow. And unfortunately, uh, I couldn't make it where I could duplicate this one and bring it over because there's some problems. You need to have a texture that has both eyes glowing on it rather than trying to put two separate ones. That's neither here nor there. So what I'm going to do is bring in another surface with my texture uh, for the glowing eyes. And uh, that'll be included with the download as well. All right, so we've got our texture brought in. And as you can see, this is more of a rectangular shape rather than a square shape. And what I wanna do is go ahead and parent this to Herobrine's head. And we're also gonna go ahead and get rid of that rotation point. And I wanna turn off face camera since this is gonna be parented to his head. We don't want it turning and stuff. We want it to, to stay along with the axes of his head. So turn off face camera. And we're gonna bring this up and we want this to be the opposite of how we did the cubes because we wanted them to be behind the uh, face texture. Uh, this one we want to be slightly in front of it. So what we're gonna do is bring it to about 4.02, something like that. And uh, hope that that works for us. And we're basically just gonna bring this up and try to line it up with one of the eyes. And uh, since we have this texture here, you can kind of see the middle point of the eye would be right here and we can use this line to try and see as we finagle it into place. Should be pretty close to center. And that looks pretty okay to me. So now we're just gonna scale it down. Bring it in just a bit. And it's kind of hard to see this, but we'll go somewhere right about there. And then you have Herobrine's glowing eyes. Bring it down, to like say about 0.27. Five. We'll go with that and see what that looks like. All right, so now that we have that in place, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go to this one's properties and we're gonna turn off cast shadows as always. We're gonna turn up the render depth, let's just say two for whatever reason, and then we're gonna duplicate this. So we're gonna duplicate and then we're gonna drag this one over and we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. This actually looks pretty dang old close here. Uh, to the center, but we're just gonna finagle it Pretty much where we want it to be and then also we may want to blur the texture This is obviously optional depending on how you how you want to do yours But I'm gonna blur it and let's select both of these and scale it down as you can see when you blur it It kind of creates a blur more so you might have to scale things down a bit more uh, than you would initially want to Let's try about 0.22 something like that and also if we want to give it some more on the horizontal range because the way this is scaling it's not 100% perfect so the yellow axis is our x axis so if I could talk I'm gonna see if I can bring this out a bit somewhere right about there it can be a little bit more than the other one let's try about 0.27 and there you have a Herobrine with his glowing eyes and it's creepy. And then as you can see here, it moves with his head. You don't have to worry about that one facing the camera. Whereas this one over here, we do want it to face the camera because you know, the camera may be panning around and you don't want it to look like a 2D plane. So then that way you can light up this stuff. You can light up that stuff. And if we turn down to the darkness again, and let's see if we can bring up this. And then you have this really nice, creepy glowing eyes and stuff. We may also want to do the same for these over here, actually. I missed the step, 
Make sure you bring up the brightness. There we go. That's the creepiness I'm talking about. That looked lackluster there for a second. That was horrible. But now, now you got the goodness. There's your glowing eyes. There's your glowing blocks. This is obviously could be applied as well to a torch and whatnot. Uh, I don't know why it's so less obvious when you go over the ground plane here. I didn't notice this issue when I had scenery, so maybe it's just something with the ground plane. So as you can see there, that shows up perfectly. Uh, so yeah, you may want to not use this if you have the flat background. You may want to make sure you use some scenery or something. In any case, that's gonna be it. I hope this was helpful to you guys. There will be a link in the description to download the glowing effect for blocks as well as the eyes. Uh, one last thing, of course, if you wanted to do a different effect, then you can always change the mix color and change the color of these textures here. Both of these can be completely redone with the colors that you use. If I wanted to give this, just, just say a blue color or something, then I can do that as well. We also, that's where our problem's coming in. I forgot to turn the brightness up on that one. So yeah, the brightness thing is, is a big thing. It, it's a light and it's emitting light. So you definitely want brightness turned up. So there we go. That solved our problem. I'm not too dumb anymore. Anyway, so there you go. You can turn it blue or whatever color you want to make it. And yeah, so by default, it'll come like this. It'll be this yellow because that's generally what your lights are going to do. But like I said, you can always change that if you wanna. Okay, so there you go. I'm going hoarse from talking so much. That's it. Hope you guys liked it. Hope it was helpful. Hope you get some good use out of it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. It supports me. It supports the channel. It helps me out a lot. As well as sharing with your friends and your family and your pets. And I will see you in the next video.